What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, some, some, some. Hit the keys here today to bring you guys a quick review and demonstration over Chow Kick by Child Hurry DSP. It's basically a kick synth, so you can design your kicks however you like. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell, so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to find out. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Boosh. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys, so I brought you to the website first. Uh, basically, Child Hurry DSP makes a bunch of free plugins. I've done a couple reviews over Child Tape Model, which is a solid plugin for lo fi. Um, I've also done one over Child Matrix, which is a wild delay plugin. Um, but today we're going to go ahead and get in a chow kick. So all you have to do is come over here to this little windows button. You click that and it'll download automatically for you. It's good from windows seven up to 10. Um, it's also good for Mac. It's not ready for Silicon Valley Mac yet, the M ones, but it does do big Sur up to big Sur, just not Silicon Valley. Um, basically they tell you chow kick is a kick drum synthesizer based on a creative physical modeling of an old drum machine circuits. Um, so basically we're going to go ahead ahead and hop right into FL Studio. When you open up the plugin, it's gonna look like this. Uh, one thing that I do love about Child Hurry DSP plugins is that they tell you exactly what everything does like right here. So you can see here the width controls the length of the trigger poles, the amplitude controls the amplitude of the trigger poles, the de decay controls the decay characteristics of the pole shaper circuit, sustain controls the sustained characteristics of the pole shaper circuit, frequency controls the frequency of the filter when not in link mode, um, Q controls the resonant of the filter, dampening controls the dampening of the filter feedback, tight controls the nonlinear behavior of the filter resonance, bounce controls the nonlinear behavior of the filter frequency, and tone controls the response output tone filter. There's a level right here where you can turn it up and down for your output, obviously. Um, then down here you have voices, so you can choose up to four voices, and you have a resonant mode from linear to basic to bouncy. Um, so I have, um, basically made a few presets. I made a little beat on stream just a few minutes ago. Um, the beat's not all the way mixed down. I just put it together so that I can use it for this demonstration. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and play that. And I used the, the kick that I made in this beat. Let's go. All right, so you can hear the kick's a pretty clean kick. Um, I did throw some effects on there, but the effects that I'm gonna show you guys are also free as well. Um, so let's go ahead and hop back into the plugin. Uh, we'll pull it up real quick. Um, and as you can see, the, the plugins that I use were um, an EQ, uh, Cashmar Essentials Kick and Camel Crusher, but you can also use Crack, uh, that Crack plugin, and you can use, um, Diablo by um, Cymatics. You can also use uh, something like um, To Be Clipped by To Be Played Music. All those plugins are pretty solid, um, you know, like soft clippers or plugins that you can use to basically enhance your kick. So I'm just gonna mute all this stuff um, and then I'm going to come back into this kick um, and we're gonna mute the effects and we're just going to listen to the kick first and then I'm just gonna show you a few tricks that you can throw on with these to make the kick either smack or just sound cleaner or however you want it to sound. So um, let's go ahead and hop back into Chow Kick. Bam, we've got that opened up, um, pulled over into place. Um, and so um, basically I'm just going to push play and I'm going to um, run through some of the presets for you. I'm gonna turn the level up on all of them so they sound a little louder for you. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention is this link button. If you click this link button, it makes it a playable instrument versus if the link button's off, all the kicks 
are just the, they sound the same but if you push a link we're gonna turn this up a little bit um if you push a link you'll notice that that one sounds different than that one but you have to go down all the way to the bottom of your keyboard in order to get the bassy ones but you see that kind of smacks so um let's go ahead and start with the presets uh, and i'm just going to turn it up as i play so All right, so you just got some basic uh, waveforms here that you get to chop up and make them sound how you want. I'll go through some of the, the presets that I made as well. So again, you can make the drum smack by just messing with a lot of this stuff. Um, so we'll go ahead and I'm just gonna show you, like let's say you started off on the basic um, default kick, the one that sounds like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the dampening up on that. Uh, I'm gonna turn the frequency down a little bit. You hear how it's starting to thump a little harder now. Uh, I'm gonna mess with this Q. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit as well. All right, and then I'll mess with this tone a little bit. Maybe I'll turn the tone down a little bit. Turn it down a little bit more. Turn this tight down. And you can see here um, how it moves around and just shows you kind of how everything's shaping for you. Um, I'm gonna mess with uh, this decay a little bit, bring this down. Now you hear all that kick is smacking now, uh, mess with the sustain a little bit. And then, you know, you can mess with the width on it. Now you can mess with the amplitude. All right, guys, so the last thing I want to show you is basically what you can do by adding a couple effects to this. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hop back over here to um, this preset three right here. Um, and again, this is what the preset sounded like. Um, so we'll turn it up just a little bit. Um, all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw an EQ on there and it's going to take out some of the low end. So it makes it snappy. Um, and then like, uh, you know, I'll add this Cashmar Essentials kick on there. I like this one because this uh, plugin right here has a whole bunch of different things you can mess with from the low range, the mid to the highs, the transients. Um, you can throw distortion on there. Um, this is like a light compression. This is a more of a multi-band. I think this is a multi-band compression. This is a regular compression and this is the width. So throwing this on there.
So maybe I'm gonna take this EQ and mess with it a little more. I EQ too much out of the low end. So you hear how that smacks. Then you can throw a little bit of distortion on there from Camel Crusher. So you can do things like that in order to change the way that the kick actually sounds. Um, you know, I can take that low frequency back out. So you can hear how that smacks. So basically I made that kick um, so this kick right here, you hear this? And I do have a soft clipper on the master track, so it's not clipping. Um, but we'll turn off all the presets, and this is what it sounded like initially. So it just shows you how far you can go uh, with this actual plugin. So we'll put it back on the default so you can hear that one more time. And that kick came from this. So in my opinion, I do think that this is a solid plugin. Um, I think it's something that's worth checking out. Um, you can obviously use it for any kind of genre, um, for a kick, whether it's EDM, trap, you can use it for some lo-fi if you do a lot of messing with it, you know, some boom bap, whatever it is that you wanna use it for. And as you can see, you can also use it um, for like an 808 because you can get some bass out of it. So uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the plugin. I appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.